Good morning, this is Linda, and it's Monday morning, and it's my Monday morning reads, and what I'm going to read, and the books that I got are from the library, and um, I read three, and I still have two more to go, so let's get started. Okay, the first book that I read is called the question of the Thelonious Friend, and it's by E.J. Copperman and Jeff Cohen, and it's a mystery. And that's what the book looks like. And this book is really good. I will really enjoy this book. The second book that I read is Nancy Drew Diaries, and this is book number, oh, hang on. This is book number four in the Nancy Drew Diaries, and the title of it is Once Upon a Thriller, and by Carolyn Keene. And I dearly love Nancy Drew mystery books. I don't care if the the diaries or the original mysteries. I love them all. Then the uh, last book that I read before I started this video is called The Scarlet Dragon, and it's number book number two, and the and the in a series called The Kingdom of Renly. And it's by Jordan Quinn, and it's illustrated by Robert McPhillips. And this is like a like a middle grade young reader book, and there's ten chapters in the book, and it's a really cute story about a about a uh, dragon that is born, and a boy and a girl help take care of their baby dragon. It's I love this story. It's really cute. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, the next book that I'm going to read is uh, book number three in, in The Kingdom of Renly, and it's called Seed Monster. And the author is Jordan Quinn, and it's illustrated by Robert McPhillips. And that's what the book looks like. And then my last book that I have from the library to read that is in my pile and it's called Rest and Peach. And it's uh, book number two in the Georgia Peach Mystery Series. And the author is Susan Furlong. That's what the book looks like. So those are the books that I got from the library. And I'm going to show you. Uh, I've got to show you something. And the the Scarlet Dragon book, it is really cool. I think it's this one. Yeah. It's really cool because in Chapter 9, it talks about how the children hike through a cornstalk field and, and, all, and all of that. And then it becomes awfully dark. Well, actually, the pages are dark as well, if you can see them. I think that cool and and it stays dark although and here's the next two pages and then the next two pages and then it turns white again I think that is so cool and this is in book number two of the king of a run lady that's called a dragon I think that is so neat. I never saw a book like that that, that actually had the pages turn dark, be dark like that, and you know, throughout the book. Oh, I just love those type of books. So that is it for today, and I will be going to my library to pick up a book that is on hold for me. The weather is rainy cold, stormy, a little bit windy, so I have my long sleeve sweatshirt on. And I think that 
will do it for this video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching the videos. And I hope you all have a very wonderful day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.